Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be explaining the rain dream scene that we got in last week's episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So, a lot of you guys have been requesting this video, and I only briefly brushed over this topic in my review, because I did want to make another video, because I feel like it deserves its own video, because... You know, it's a really, really important topic of what's going to be happening later down the road in this season. So, if you go back to episode 15, we got a load of brilliant rain scenes with Sam and also Rain and, and also with Lena. So, the scene we're going to be talking about is the bit where Lena infuriates Sam into actually turning into Rain so she can get that video footage to show Sam that she's Rain and she finds out she's Rain. But, as you can see, she gets so mad and when she turns Rain, we actually fade into the dream sequence where we saw that dream sequence filled once more that we saw earlier in season one and that's just not a mistake that they would make and this is vital because we're actually going to be returning to that in episode 20 or 21 I'm not sure as to what episode it's going to be in but we will see that scene and it will be in present day so you can go check out my Argo City video on that and that will be in the description below, I explain, you know, what's going to be happening there. But, so, she's there in that exact same place, most likely in Argo City. So, this is where my theory comes in. So, I will just quickly talk about the sequence and I'll talk about the theory in a minute. But, so, as it goes on, we realise that Sam is in that place, you know, the lighting is really similar to the lighting at the start of the season in Kara's dream sequence. And then the camera pans up, up to what looks like the moon, and the lighting turns dark, and then it fades into darkness darkness really and it's just the moon and we pan down once more and it's in a different place but most likely it's roughly in the same place and I think it's still on the place where Argo City is I still think it's in Argo City but it's a forest and we pan down and we see Samantha there in the same clothes and she's isolated and we hear like a monster's screech because it's a really ominous atmosphere and it's just representative of how alone Sam is in her mind because this is all in her mind but she's seeing this specific place on purpose it's all been done on purpose and so this is where the theory comes in so we know that we're going to be going to Argo City and there's been rumors that in the Argo City episodes in episode 20 and 21 we are going to see Rain's maker in real life and one I was going to have a fight with her and things may be revealed so that's just a rumour for now I'm not sure but that links into the theory the reason why she is actually dreaming of this and why she dreamed of herself as that demonic version of herself earlier in the season in that same place is because that is where her mind goes when she turns all rain that's where Samantha literally goes and she's alone in her mind she's scared and that is why she can't be pulled out I think that the reason why she's here is because Rain's maker is actually there in real life that's where she is and somehow they still have a really strong connection and so that's obviously just a theory but it makes sense as to why she would go to that specific place that actually exists in real life because in a dream normally it's not a real place it's something made up in your mind we're going to be going to that exact same place in episode 20 or 21 so that's really crazy and I think the idea of her being isolated and by herself in that forest is just a visual representation and I'm not sure if we'll actually go to there that specific forest but uh, we will definitely go to that field scene so that is what I think is going on I tried to explain it as best I could so let me know in the comments below are you excited to see this dream scene filled once again in episode 20 or 21 and did this video help you wrap your head around what actually went on because you know it's kind of confusing when you look at it just for the first time say you turn on your TV you're watching the episode and you see that and you're like what what I recognize this place right hopefully I explained it to you before this video ends I just quickly wanted to mention that the giveaway winners for the Supergirl season 3 return miss me poster are being chosen bit by bit I've chosen about four winners as of now and just for an update for the winners that I have contacted obviously they're all going to be sent out at one time that's why you haven't got them yet I just thought I would give you an update that I haven't forgotten about it and so if you want to enter the giveaway for this video all you need to do is leave a like and a comment and you can win one of those epic Supergirl return posters and they will be sent out all very soon when I choose all the winners. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.